will discuss about how to install Python by IDE. So what is meant by IDE is it is an integrated development environment. So if you want to develop any software application, the comprehensive, so whatever the different required facilities to require to develop a software, those all facilities will be provided by under single umbrella through this particular IDE to the IDE. So, and also IDE normally consists of at least one source code editor and some automation tools and debugger. So such type of is called as IDE. Like that, for Python programming language, we are having an IDE called as Anconda. Why we are using only Anconda? Why? Because this Anconda is a collection of different uh, applications like Anconda Prompt and Jupyter Lab and Jupyter uh, Notebook and it is a Quitty Console, Spider. And also, what is Anaconda prompt is it enables you the Python as your default uh, environment for execution of Python programs. And we can use Jupyter Lab for interactive and uh, so command whatever the Python you can we can execute by using Jupyter Lab. And now we can also use Jupyter Notebook. So uh, <clears throat> if you want to do large amount of data analysis, we can easily done by the help of this particular Jupyter Notebook. And also QT Console. It provides say, some graphical tips, syntax highlighting like that, some of the best facilities. And also Spider is also there. So it is mainly for debugging and report generation and for different purpose we can use Spider. And we can use R Studio. If you want to perform statistical analysis, we can use R programming. If you want to analyze the multidimensional data for that, we can use this Gluevich. We can also use Orange for data mining framework and PyCharm, it is also more uh, if you want to handle big data and if you want to do data science process, we can use like that many of the applications which are, these all applications are available under single umbrella that's why we are using the Anaconda as ID. So how we can install this Anaconda ID is very simple and go to this particular website Anaconda and here you can find the products Within the products, select individual edition. So it is a free of cost available. Remaining are you need to purchase. So after individual edition, select it, you ask for download. Then select uh, which operating system, whether you are using Windows or you are using Mac or Linux. So according to your Windows, it may be 64 bit or 32 bit. Select the, for example, many of the laptops nowadays are 64 bit. That's why go with the. Uh, 64 bit and which version of Python also you need. If you want later version or you want late uh, version, you can decide. So, and uh, after that, automatically the software will be downloaded in your command prompt, then install it. So, at the time of installation, it asks for the these cookies to accept. After that, the installation will be started and uh, privacy document of Anaconda, please accept it. I agree. And if you select for yourself or for all the users, and like select the where you want to select the Anaconda, and after that, automatically Anaconda will be installed successfully and finish the Anaconda installation. Once it is installation, just open your uh, Anaconda from your command prompt, and automatically it comes like this. So now in my laptop, I will show you how to use this particular uh, thing. You can use the Jupyter Lab or you can also use Jupyter Notebook. So if I click on Jupyter Notebook, it will open like this. So we are using in our Jupyter Notebook we are using. So why I am showing this interface is uh, the students who are having a laptop you can use it or the students who are not having laptop uh, we can mobile also you can do that. So how you can have to do in a mobile phone I will show you in this particular video itself. So by if you have a laptop this is the approach you need to follow. If you don't have the laptop for that also I will show you the another uh, approach and uh, you can uh, follow that. So if you want to uh, just click on new and ask whether you want to do Python 3 notebook, just click on that. 
then your browser itself it so it runs your browser itself very easy so like this the command will open and here you can type whatever the commands like that or previously we typed 2 plus 2 just you can execute uh, press uh, shift enter it is prints the output so 2 plus 2 so like this uh, 2 plus uh, 3 just press shift enter so next after that uh, for example if you are having some simple command like uh, print uh, hello and press shift and like this we can execute the commands very easily and if you are using if you are not having laptop if you are not having laptop the google provides google also provides you this particular uh, facility how you need to use that is go to, just type www.google.com and go to your uh, google drive so this is the approach i am showing for the students uh, who are not having laptop who are using mobile phone so go to your google drive just click on new and go to more and here you are having uh, google collaboratory just click on that so it will open the like google collaboratory will be open So same interface is open like this. So here also you can. So who are the students who are not having laptop, who are not just press shift to enter, automatically it will go into executed and output will get. You will get the output. So show the 2 plus 2 is already executed, gives the output 5. And if you go with uh, print uh, hello, so it is automatically printed. Just press shift enter. So like this, we can use this particular. So and also you can uh, rename this particular notebook and whatever the so extension it will save with an extension IPYNB. And simply you can uh, save this particular program with the your first program first ip onev so like this you can also do python programming in this particular editor also so so by this uh, like this we can use this particular uh, anaconda by this our so our topic is uh, completed thank you very much